In this video I'm going to show you how you can build a small solar powered Wi-Fi weather station. This device collects weather data, it sends the data to your phone or computer using Wi-Fi. It runs on solar power and uses a rechargeable battery. No cables needed, it's simple and wireless. Okay, so first thing, we'll need a custom PCB for this project. I ordered mine from PCBWay.com. Quick shout out to PCBWay. They made the custom PCB we'll use in this project and honestly, they make it super easy. Just upload your design files, your Gerber files, choose your specs, pick the color and thickness and they will handle the rest. Fast, reliable and affordable. And it's not just PCBs, they also offer 3D printing, CNC and all sorts of cool prototyping services. So if you're working on a project and want it to look way more polished, check out PCBWay.com. Links down in the description. Alright, let's start putting this together. First, I'm soldering in all the sockets. These will hold the components in place and make swapping things out easier later. Next up is the Wemos D1 Mini Pro. This is the brain of the weather station. It connects to Wi-Fi and handles all the data. After that, I'm adding the BME 280 sensor. This one measures temperature, humidity and air pressure. Just make sure you place it the right way around. Now I'm soldering a 220K resistor onto the board. It's used for the voltage divider that lets us monitor the battery level. Then I'm adding the DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. Now I'm adding a pair of jumper pins. Then I'm installing the screw terminal. This is where the wires from the solar panel will connect. Next is the charging module. This handles charging the battery from the solar panel. It also protects the battery from overcharging or discharging too much. Now I'm connecting the 18650 lithium ion battery. Make sure the polarity is correct. Positive and negative are clearly marked. And finally, I'm attaching four small spacers underneath the PCB. These lift the board slightly so it doesn't sit flat and short out against anything. Now that the components are all in place, I'm going to let my 3D printer take care of the case. It's designed to protect the electronics while still letting air flow through for accurate readings. If you want to print the same case, the link to the STL files is down in the description. Now add the antenna to the side of the housing and attach the solar panel to the top. Next connect the D1 Mini Pro to your computer using a USB cable. Then head over to the Arduino cloud and connect your device. Select ESP8266 and then try to find the D1 Mini Pro. Once that's done, upload the code and open up your dashboard. I'll leave the links to everything, the code, dashboards and parts down in the description. If everything works, you can open up the dashboard in the Arduino cloud and you can see humidity, temperature and air pressure. 